going on, good people? It's me, Mr. Glass, again. I'm shouting this here out to my boy. Gonna always be my boy, Eric Weary, Avery Golf, or Woodford. I don't know what money name is. His last name. I don't know what Big Baby last name is. This goes out straight to you. Even before I was recreated, I didn't have nothing against none of y'all. I want you to know that the love that I have for the world is love that I have for you and yours. I don't want you to think now time that I hold anything against you about anything that you did or I did. I forgive you if you forgive me. I say to you, Eric, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever made you feel the way that you feel about me. Oh, Avery, same thing. But now, I'm coming to everybody. I want you to reboot the original computer, which is your brain. And once you reboot the original computer, which is your brain, start thinking on how things started and how you learned everything that you know. Because nine times out of 10, someone either taught it to you by repetition, or you read it in some book. I'm saying, getting something more than what's here in the earthly realm. I'm saying to be in tune with the creator of it all, to know exactly who the creator is in order to believe in something that you don't see. See, because a lot of people say that they are believers. A lot of y'all just say that because a real believer, someone that believes in the creator being the creator of all life and being the nicest and the loving, the one that sacrificed her only not to be forgotten, son, you call him Jesus, I call him Yahshua, we'll just say the Messiah. But the creator is not a name with or a title. The divine is something created out of nothing. But it's the strongest something that you can imagine in your brain. What could you possibly imagine everything being created out of and it has no name? I'm going by what she's giving me to say right now to you. This is not no game. Start that back over. This is not no game. So like I said, when I say she... I say she because I've been saying he too long. When I know that the divine light of creation, the creator of all living things, is neither man, no woman, no black, no white. It's the divine light of the love and compassion which will be the woman's womb here on earth that life could pass through. She's the God here on earth as we have the creator in the heavens. I'll say it again, she's the God here on earth as we have the creator in heaven. That's why I say man gave it all the different titles that they have for God being the creator. 
That's why you say, our Father who art in heaven, Father God, He did this for me. He did that for me. Y'all say it in repetition, not for really knowing yourself. I can say I died enough times to be able to say myself, the Creator is the strongest feeling that there ever could be. The Creator is life, live, love, leave. That's the four L's. L O V E. Man gave the Creator a title. Man took woman's birth right from her for her to have a title. And her title would be the title that man took from woman and gave to a baby. So let me break that one down to you. A woman do the nine months. A woman do the transformation inside her stomach. A womb, inside her womb. A woman do all the labor. A woman births the child into the world. So, you tell me how jealous, how lying is, and how selfish is the man. The man took the woman's birthday, y'all. Women, the man took your birthday, gave it to the baby, and throw a bone out the window like it never happened, baby. Why? Why would man take your birthday from you, give it to the baby, like the baby really did something, and throw a bone out the window? When that's your birthday, baby, and that's that baby's born day, baby, and that is the truth. So why hold on to the lies? It's time to tell the truth. I've been recreated to do nothing but tell the truth. I miss the glasses. <laughs>